What's up, guys? My name is Emerson, your favorite manic and Melanita photographer. Hey, hey, this is Alex, or you can call me Peach, your local content creator and fruit enthusiast. And welcome to the Photo Bros Podcast. Your one-stop shop for all things photography, videography, and content creation. Yo, 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 yo. The villain is back. And so is the fruit. Yeah. The villain uh, and the is, fruit in the building. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the peach specifically. But yes, we are here. We are back with episode 14. What? what? And this time we're going to talk about something very important. Definitely very important. We're going to talk about building your brand and growing an audience on social media, everything from Instagram to TikTok. Uh, we might touch on Facebook. We haven't made a, made a decision yet on that, but we're just going to go with it. Yeah. It's very interesting, though, because like I, uh, well, not just me, you, but a lot of other people, we really do a lot. Like a lot of content creators out there, they do a lot to kind of build an audience to this day. Yep. Like a lot of influencers, a lot of uh, um, celebrities, yep. athletes. We got people promoting uh, different brands. Um, Definitely. We have people who try to be influencers. We have wannabe <laughs> TikTok stars. We have actual TikTok stars. Yes, we do. We have people, well, pretty much everywhere. Yeah. Apparently, there's even people at a very young age who are trying to do this. Yeah. it's. Uh, I think the pandemic kind of like opened up. I would say so. Yeah. This whole new business venture it's a status new, quo yeah it's this era of this era of like content creators influencers tiktok stars i think if we didn't have a pandemic t there there would not be a, a, anything in regards to like being a tiktok star or anything because these there were just these average people during the pandemic we were all bored we were all stuck in the house um and they were making videos and now those same people are now living in Beverly Hills and mega mansions because they went viral during the pandemic. And it's simply just it's insane. Mind blowing. Insane. <laughs> mind blowing. In a membrane. Yeah. <laughs> but very, it's uh it's a, it's a lot actually. And uh, yeah. Cause I know you have a lot of followers on TikTok. I had something that I don't have. I don't have a lot of followers. It's, we have um, a lot of reactions on TikTok. I'm, I mean, the goal, the thing about TikTok is when you're getting started, the way to grow really quick, because I think I have probably 1100 followers on TikTok. I'm jealous. Is to make, <laughs> is to make those reaction videos or stitch videos or duet videos. I don't know what the algorithm is on TikTok, but when I do reaction and stitches, I get drastically more views than I would get if I just made a regular TikTok with just me and a sound doing a dance or anything. So usually I just find a TikTok that I like and I just put a reaction to it. So it's like somebody screaming and just doing something ridiculous. And I'll do a TikTok and be like, bruh, please stop. And that TikTok right there would get like 10K views. But if I do a TikTok of me in the mirror doing a dance, like hit the whoa, that gets like a hundred views. So, and that's crazy to me. Yeah, I. I mean, look at <laughs> look at Emerson right now. Like he's <laughs> like he's doing a live video, right? Stuff like that will get you noticed and will lead to more followers, more traction. I believe. Yeah, more... I mean, I don't have too many viewers right now, but it's it's pretty early on a Sunday, so I mean, people are right in now? church. So I'm right now on Instagram Live. We got one people viewer. Church at this time. 12, Sometimes yeah. church, you, you'd never know. There's different masses, different services. I mean, I don't know. Times. I mean, they're probably yeah. eating at a at a IHOP right now. But. Yeah, probably. Oh, IHOP. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait till we're done with this session. We're gonna get some cheese steaks. Yes, we are. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what we're doing, and we're gonna talk about that into detail in, with detail because yeah. you know we really uh want to get into this. All right. So let's start with something simple. So we, uh, you see us active on Instagram and Spotify a lot. Yep. You're going to actually see us a lot more active because we have to try to get on that. So, uh, let me, let's just start with naming all the social media platforms. So we have Instagram, we yep. have Facebook, Facebook. I think Facebook's like 
one of the OGs. Facebook is one of the OG. I mean, you could go back to MySpace. MySpace. Oh is yeah, I forgot the, about the, MySpace. The OG, OG. I don't Shout even know. Out. I don't even know who is still on MySpace. I feel like it's like two people. Yeah. In like in the middle of Arkansas. <laughs> my something. my MySpace from when I was in high school is still up, but I what. I, I Google searched myself. It put MySpace and I found my high school one. Why do I want to? I want to find high that. school. And I was, I don't know the password. I don't know what email I used. I, do I, I have was, permission to find that and check it out? Yeah. And just laugh? Can, yeah, you can laugh at it. I mean, I was just a, I, I don't even remember what picture of me is on there, but I uh, don't look the same. Yeah, I none of us had a hair. I was a lacrosse player. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> that's the backstory. But OK, so then we have Facebook. We have uh, what do you call it? Well, technically, we do have email, too, but we have Instagram. We have, we have YouTube. We have threads now. We do have threads. We have Twitter, but now it's called X. Thanks a lot, Elon. Yeah. Um, and then we have well, those are the big ones. I don't know if there's those any, are the big ones. There's also Tumblr, but who uses um, Tumblr anymore? Tumblr has not been used in years. Um, there's some smaller ones that are trying to get traction. I think there was one. I forgot. The oh name yeah, I remember of it. Uh, Vero. <laughs> Vero. That's what it was. Vero. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I got looped in there, and then I stopped using. it I after. didn't get any traction on there whatsoever. There's bar- bar- I don't even think there's much of an audience. Is is, is, that, is that app still even active anymore? I think so yeah but i don't wow. think i don't think people are active on there yeah i know it was like it was targeted towards content creators and photographers mostly um i think i got like three followers on there i posted i got like 16 i think i posted like i didn't really post consistently but i posted like quality stuff and it got like a ton of likes but nobody was really following me true so, true yeah but yeah so that's what's going on with that but um <laughs> but yeah but instagram is one of the in my opinion one of the main things so and then they, now they have and there's also tiktok now which is actually really blowing up tiktok and, is yeah and then instagram has reels which is, mm-hmm. is it's a similar version reels is the secret sauce into growing on instagram right now i would say so videos are well thanks to the head of instagram or whoever is in charge like I think he announced that some like a few years Isn't ago. Zuckerberg, who's the head of Instagram. I think Instagram's he is, but some by Meta. but someone announced it. Like yeah, but I guess whoever's in charge of Instagram, it just that. But yeah, they, but I guess uh, whoever announced that, they basically said that videos are it right photos are it was a photo app sharing app it's just, it, that's it, how started it started as a photo app yeah. and then now it's a video sharing app and yeah. they're saying that gets more traction that it's all about videos now because that's what's getting you more views that's what's really helping your case yeah and that's and that's kind of pissing off a lot of photographers though lately. even to this day yeah to i mean day, like, yeah so so i guess i have to take a video every time i do a shoot I mean, I've always been like doing videos, but I never really like took it seriously. But ever since I started posting reels, I started to see the more well, good views you, my profile gets. So I'm just trying to go with it. Yeah, we'll just uh, roll with it. Yeah, yep. but but you but that's but that's the, the point of this is there's a lot of platforms you can use to kind of get your start on there. Um, and I would I would suggest Instagram to be honest because that's how you get started. You can share your photos, your videos, your you can even make stories and put it on uh, temporary stories for however long you want, I guess 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And you can even um, pin them on your page because this way, if let's say it's a biography, for example, yep. you can um, like, we're going to do one of those for our page for um, soon, but yeah, basically you make a story and then you can even save it in your stories, uh, story archives, I guess. And then you can even pin them on your page. And then this way you'll be able to see, well, who exactly we are, who the you and then people can see who you are. Yeah. Yeah. As a model, as I a mean, photographer, as a fashion designer, a makeup artist and so on. Yeah, definitely. I love how you can just like convert story posts to highlights because on my Instagram specifically, I have uh, different highlights for like models. So I post like my little reels I do of models and then I have highlights where it's reviews and then I have highlights of strictly BTS stories. So people can go on my page and actually get a feel for me, especially the behind the scenes highlight because you get to see my true personality when I'm at a shoot, how goofy I am, how much fun the model and I are Yeah, being yourself is really helpful. Yeah, just to get... just so people can get a vibe for you like there's one thing to like somebody's work but to know them as a human also helps out big time when it comes to shooting with somebody because you can like somebody's work but if you're not vibing with them in person it's just going to be a waste of time at that point yeah that yeah that's true yeah it's um really good that you put yourself out there as much as possible because um 
I guess what I do sometimes is kind of keep to myself. Mm-hmm. I don't do that much engagement, but I do, but not, I keep it very minimal. I kind of, I like my privacy sometimes. So if, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But then again, you're kind of making a sacrifice there because you're not probably not going to get, you're probably not getting a lot of traction at that point. Yeah. Cause they're yeah. just kind of like going into the shoot. It was just like, is yeah. Who like is I he? still do photo shoots to this day. I yeah. still message people. I mm-hmm. still post stuff on my yeah. stories. Sometimes just most, most times it's just to my close friends stories, but that's because that's my choice for now. Yeah. Because, uh, as time goes on, you probably will have a good amount of people who will not like you and your stuff. And yep. you will have people that adore you. They are fans of you. They will be obsessed with you, probably. Like the quote says, you, you either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. Shout out to Christopher Nolan for bringing us the Dark Knight. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, but he does have a point. Um And let's talk, and then now let's talk about like when it comes to collaborations. Yeah. It's in order to increase your content, but also your engagement, right? Mm-hmm. So I believe we talked about this before, but when it comes to messaging others and create, and like let's say you're a photographer or a model, right? Mm-hmm. Or I guess any, anyone in the content creating universe. Um, what you have to make sure to do is obviously have a good rapport with the person always yeah i think i think the model I actually worked with yesterday made a uh repost one of my stories mm-hmm. and said um it's always great bonding with a photographer before you even work with them that is yeah that is the point yeah that's exactly mm-hmm. yeah i um i know for me i do a lot of really good I, um, I would say like what i do is like do exchange messages with people like this and then kind of befriend them yeah maybe show that there is like a good friendly vibe going on Mm -hmm. and then there's also just a good a lot of good of hyping up a lot of compliments Mm -hmm. a lot of um tips sharing advice hopefully Um, i'll get back to that i haven't hyped anybody up in a few weeks now true true yeah but uh but yeah but a lot of that yeah i know for me uh i mean your choice of how you want to hype people up like mm. stories, um, put mm. it publicly out there. Mm. You can do um, comment section or mm. um, in the bottom of the picture that was shared yeah. or pictures mm-hmm. or the video. Mm. Um, you can uh, do it privately through DMs. So on, as long as you're respectful, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I usually do it during the shoot. Um, and um, I low-key want to show like the progression when I've done shoots where I'm hyping the model up from the first shot to the last shot, you can just see as the progression goes, the confidence grows. So when you're hyping up your model, it shows in the posing and just the, the, the comfort level increases because sometimes people are just like, I'll, I'll be honest, a lot of people I work with, they tend to have like not the best self-confidence. Um, but after working with me, the main thing I hear is you made me feel beautiful. You made me feel so empowered and everything of that nature. And so when I hype people up, it's basically to boost your confidence. It's not on some creeper stuff like a lot of people are on Mm -hmm. lately these days. It's more so (laughs) what's going on with that. (laughs) So if you ever like, there's a lot of behind the scenes on my Instagram where I'm literally, there's one with Michaela, shout out to Michaela, our first guest this season. There's one where she's posing in the parking garage and all you hear is me say it. Oh, fire 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 More and fire. then i get that one shot and i'm like money money <laughs> and just like literally like literally all you see is just the smile on her face both of us laughing it just may it it just makes the whole shoot and the vibe so good when the vibes are good the you're just it shows in the content that you create yes <laughs> but yeah but that's important always create something that's a fab that's friendly you know i mean because i always like to crack jokes whenever um i do a shoe he's i mean sometimes king, anxiety comes in but that's usually happens with people that i work with that are new um and and, peach is the king of sarcasm by the way yes yeah. that's true it's a blessing and a curse but uh i guess it depends how you use it 
But I, uh, but with content creation, um, you have what you have to keep in mind is you're gonna make a mistake. Everyone's gonna make a mistake. I've been doing photography. Yeah, I'm for, still making mistakes. To this I'm day. still making mistakes, and I've been doing this for like five, six years already. Yeah, um, I think I'm at five years now, six years, but yeah. yeah, still mistakes here. I mean, I'm pretty sure our favorite photographers are still making mistakes yeah. too. Yeah, there's a lot of people who like post a lot, like, <laughs> well, a lot of well-known photographers, like, like Emerson mentioned his name before, but Brandon Wolfel, for example. Yep. Guarantee he makes mistakes. Mm -hmm. He's still posting a lot of content to this day, but to be like that, like that level, you're gonna have to do a lot of engagement. I mean. Yeah, I totally just lost a track of my thought. <laughs> but but that's a, but that's, okay. Yeah. But my point is, yeah, yeah, there's a you're always gonna make a mistake. There's a way to overcome them. But like for example, when it comes to well, for one thing, you if you want to be at a really big level, a lot of followers, a lot of um, traction, like we mentioned, you always have to do a lot of engagement. And always. by that meaning, well, here's one way I do it. Okay commenting on photographers and models work or i guess anyone's work for this at this point mm -hmm. um so yeah commenting right there you can save people's stories and when people can save your stories um you can even share a lot on your stories like mm -hmm. repostings and so on and then you have also just uh, basically just a lot of communication i would say with people but also your audience like if you want to do a like uh maybe tell your own story i guess if you want on your story on your reels on your or no even better on your stories yeah and like not only like not only your like your actual story if you want but your background or like even have the audience engage with you with like answering questions or asking like you know like wait what do you think of my work how much would you rate me but or mm -hmm. something like that yeah i do that all the time i mean like yesterday i've so i have a i've rebranded my video stuff to villain visuals and i've been getting a lot of people that have been asking about oh can you make merch with the with your new branding on there and that i was would be like cool. i was like i don't know i mean yeah everybody like, people actually get the merch that's my question because i was gonna do that a while back but i'm like I, huh. I have a set i have like i have like some websites uh bookmarked right now mm -hmm. so i can easily like get a few t-shirts some um, villain visuals is going to be my video brand and also um the branding that's going to be on all of my not safe for work photography uh, if i ever get back into that um but a lot of people have been just asking me about merch so i put a poll on my story it was all like would you guys want merch and i got a lot of yeses i didn't get any no's and then people were just engaging with me on that story so much my dms were blowing up somebody was all like i want socks i want a hoodie i want a snapback okay but to you guys who say you want that merch <laughs> I better, we better see you wearing that. Okay. Because if you just, if you just are one of those people who buy the merch and just keep it in the, like the back, all the way in the very back of your drawer, on the very last drawer of your furniture, like. I'm pretty sure everybody who voted yes, they're going to, they, they're going to schedule a photo shoot with me and like wear that merch. They better. If I go it. that route, it's, it's still like a question. I just like the whole, I just have a vision, just having a hoodie that just says villain on it. I just think that'll just be fly as ever and it's like, well they better wear it yeah hell i might i might do uh, something like that but too. yeah it's 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 like those kind of stories to where you engage your audience like polls the questions like the like the question box on instagram you put a question sometimes i do this like every other week rate my work or what brought you to my page and people respond and then i put a post out with the responses the reviews are always great the, the review questions I always do because if you're like having a rough day, which I do shout outs to my fellow bipolar people. Um, and you just need like that, pick me up doing a question, uh, ask me anything or a question day where saying review my work. People always have kind things to do. <laughs> people always have kind things to say. Um, the one thing you don't, uh, but the one thing I do not partake in, which everybody's still doing to this day is that NGL link, which is the, NGL the Not anonymous gonna... the anonymous messages oh that i forgot about that yeah yeah a lot of kind of funny a lot of models have done that and 
I've seen some very crazy responses. I know, like, people, they want to stay hidden and say something they so They say something outlandish. so sexually charged and just... Or something just negatively something, charged. Yeah, something just ridiculous and insulting. And yeah. just, like, especially right now with me, I'm not even putting that, <laughs> giving anybody that option. I was like, if you got something to say, just say it to me. No, yeah, for real. Person, yeah. It's like, show your true colors, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for real. But speaking of that, let's poke fun at this. Okay logos right you basically yeah. talked about it right now but mm -hmm. his logo is villain visuals and emerson well son of sanchez yeah right? son of sanchez photography villain visuals does not have an official logo the logo you guys are seeing on my stories recently is just a random logo i found on google and i've just been using that as a placeholder right now but the son of sanchez signature logo is one that was designed by a designer on fiverr i sent him an inspo of what I went with that logo and he brought it to life in immediately. So how much did they charge you? That was like $10. Really? Yeah. Fiverr. That's why they call it Fiverr. But did he give you options like of, or did yeah, he sent me device? like three different options and then you pick one and then he sends all the PNGs, the vectors and everything to you. Um, wow. Yeah. But Fiverr's gotten really expensive lately because I was looking for a designer to do my villain visuals and I want like a streetwear edgy type of like cursive for villain visuals because i want it to be like that edge it's gonna be an edgy brand um, i feel like the way it is is actually pretty good yeah um but fiber's gotten expensive um i'm seeing people are starting their gigs out at like 25 to 30 dollars now and i'm and i'm just like i'm just like this isn't fiber anymore <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah logos logos are very <sighs> important america you know you gotta make money but <laughs> But here, but um, but yeah, but logo design is very important, you know, to kind of building the brand and then also putting yourself out there. Yeah. Like, you know, we mentioned this a lot before, but we have to consider is like if you want to you want a lot of traction, you're going to have to be recognized. You're going to have to be stand out from everyone else, you know, Cause, like my logo is very simple. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a rebrand, too. Honestly, I might, uh, might as well go on Fiverr. Hopefully, I can find someone who can do this. Mm -hmm. Or I can do this. There's this other website. I forgot the name. It's like Fiverr. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called uh, something. What was it called? Thumbtack? Wait, wait. Do you, do you know what it's called? The So, there's Fiverr. You know what Fiverr is, right? There's, there's another one that's similar. Upwork. Up, oh, I need to check Upwork. Yeah, so Upwork <laughs> is another one. So, because um, I've seen it before. Um, and... Uh, there's a lot of people who do a lot of work on there. Like there's um, people who can do logos, people who can um, do album covers and so on. Oh, wow. And basically, yeah, it's just really interesting work. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can, I mean, yeah, you're going to have to save up a bit. But honestly, it doesn't seem a lot if you want to make your logo. You can even make your own logo, to be honest. Yeah, you have, I'm just if not you have good with graphic design like that. <laughs> yeah, if you have access to maybe uh, Photoshop and Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, then mm -hmm. yeah, you can do it. Yeah. And also uh, learn about it. But yeah, that's one way you can do it. But if you want to hire someone, make it quick, use mm -hmm. some money, and then yeah. Uh, yeah, just get it done. Yeah, I think this designer I found on Fiverr, I think he charges like $15 and he'll send the vector file, everything. The vector file is really important to me because that's, you're able to like make stickers and merch from a vector file. You can't send a PNG to a to any merch site and be like, put this on a shirt, put this on a hat, because they're going to be like, no, we need a straight up vector file. Wow. <laughs> ah, vector files. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's so uh, <laughs> logos are very important. Not necessary, but it would really help in the long run. I think what's a little more important is your signature editing style. Yeah, you can you you have the choice to create your own presets. Mm -hmm. I I created my own preset just by um, yeah, but this is like for photography. See, for yeah. modeling, I don't know exactly. Models have like their they have own, a signature. They have signature poses, like yeah, um, but they're all like uh, shout outs to Sarah Bentman um Wait, she who? has she's a she's a well-known d uh dmv model um but yeah she's amazing i'll give you her instagram after but she has a signature pose that she does all the time and a lot of her work and i just I, i've noticed that a lot of models have like a sort of signature pose and that's kind of how they build their brand in that aspect and then there's some models that just build their brand be, by doing boudoir doing that is true 
doing BDSM fetish work and stuff like that. But I think with photographers and models, there's a way to brand yourself in some type of ways whatsoever. True, 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 very true. Yeah, but there, but you're going to have to do something unique and then figure out like how to, uh, well, like I mentioned this a lot of times already, but stand out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Be different. Yeah. That's what I say all the time. Because like people. there's ways that makeup artists do it. They have their own signature way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, fashion designers, same thing. Like yeah. you can manipulate clothing and makeup and then to make kind of a way to kind of just make it your own. Yeah, exactly. Say, yeah, hey, I recognize that work. That's this person. Yeah, that's and that's why I do what I do a different way than everybody else does. Um, a lot of people... I've a lot of people have told me that I don't even have to look at the tag anymore. I just look at it and I can tell it's your work because that that's, that's the ultimate goal. You don't want people to have to like go to your page and know it's you or, or like have to look for a watermark. They want to see, you want to see the picture and be like, okay, peach definitely did this. Emerson definitely did this. Um, and the way I came up with my style is I have a ton of photographers that have like inspired me, Luis Klaas, uh, Brandon Walfel, Peter McKinnon, and I just combined all of their styles into one just creative like preset. And that's what you get right now on my Instagram, on my Instagram page, on my feed. It's just a mixture of so many different people that have inspired me as an artist. And I put a little bit of each into that. So everything he just said, obviously you can choose to take it with a grain of salt, but, yeah, it, yeah, but everything like, he said, but everything he says is actually very yeah, true. Yeah. Because like in like, I don't know if, I don't know if you remember, you remember like in 2017, 2018, everybody was doing the faded style. Oh, like the haircut? Huh? The faded. No, no, no. The faded, the faded like edits and stuff. The, like they would have everything looking faded. Uh, I believe maybe, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh no, wait, it was the haze type. The of, haze type of thing. Like yeah. you never want to follow the trends when it comes to Lightroom edits or anything, because you're going to get lost in the sauce. You're going to look like everybody else on the internet. Hmm. You don't want to look like every other artist. If you want to stand out and build a brand, you want to be different. True, true. Yeah. Be different, guys. (laughs) Yeah, that's my motto. Be different. Who cares what anybody else thinks? No, no, for real. Yeah. (laughs) This is your this is your craft. This is your brand. Be you. Be different. Be as weird as you want. Either way, there's going to be people that are going to admire your work and there's people going to that are not going to like your work, but you got to focus on the people that love your work at the end of the day. Okay, so we're going to swiftly move on into yes, community networking. Right. And then one <laughs> and we talked about this a lot before, but if you want to get out there, if you want to network, aside from talking on the internet, you can mm-hmm. do that, but that's a start. Yeah. You're going to have to get out there and talk to people. You got to face then, your fear a little bit. Yeah. And Shout then what, out to my introverts. Yeah. And what better way to do it than talking about it with people and with, and specifically content creators, models, photographers, uh, fashion designers, videographers. content creators. Yeah. Videographers. Yeah. Like for example, me and Emerson and our, also our friend Amir, shout out to Amir. Mm-hmm. We did invade, and I did that like a friendly invasion of invade, DC Fashion. Oh Week. my gosh! <laughs> but we did we did go to DC Fashion Week, and it was pretty fun. Honestly. It was it was pretty. It it was an experience. Yeah, we saw a good amount of people that are friends with us. We did make new friends, and uh, people were approaching me. Yeah, we saw approaching our, you, yeah. and I was just like. I'm being approached. What in the world? <laughs> yeah, I, I met. Yeah, I met this film photographer who actually took a picture, a few pictures of me. I don't, I don't remember if I, like, if he remembers me or, but he did tell me about this one place in uh, uh, Woodbridge, mm-hmm. where the um, they they actually charge a good amount of for uh, developing film and all that. Oh, nice. I didn't know that until he mentioned it to me. So I'm like, gonna use that place now whenever I do film or develop it. But basically, yeah. So that's my, that's one example right there. I connected with the guy. Mm. He told me about this place. And then now I have a really good way to develop film for a Mm. good price. But that's just one example. But 
doing stuff like that, going to events like Portrait Meet, Street Meet. Shout outs. Uh, yeah, shout outs to Portrait Meet and Street Meet. Basically, they're just, or even, even connect with studio owners. Sometimes they have events happening at their studios. Sometimes for a price, sometimes for free. Um, up to you if you want to go. But I will say it is a good way to network. Because you're going to talk to people. You're going to make sure you get new followers. Um, you're going to have people to work with, people to talk about um, talk about different ideas and advice. Maybe even do some big collaborating events or yeah. collaborating in general. I even talk about um, potentially working on something together, even um, uh, sharing advice. Yeah, I mean, when I first started out, I was going to the graffiti warehouse collab events and just working with just everybody and anybody. And that's how I got my start. And then when I moved to D.C., I needed to make a name for myself in D.C. So I started out at street meets. Then I was introduced to portrait meet. And I did that for like a good six months when I moved here. And um, I've left a footprint here already. A lot of people know my name, know who I am, um, have seen my work, love my work. And so if you really want to like leave your footprint in the DMV creative community, go to these events because they will literally change your life. For the better. For the better, yeah. And you're going to make some lifelong friends as well. Yeah, I will say, though, it's your choice in the end. But if you choose to go to these, there's going to be some positive stuff you see and, you know, networking. And yeah. However, there will be some downsides. There you know? are. There are. I mean, there's, there's like, a lot there, of different personalities in there. Yeah. Some good, some bad. Maybe some that are you, you vibe with other people that you don't. But that's just life. Period. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's you're going like, to meet a lot of. You're people not like going to get along with everybody. There's people in the creative community today that I just um, that like we don't click, and yeah. it's all good. We have no harsh hard feelings for each yeah. other. We're just like. But I mean, well, this is a really yeah. active community that yeah. is very, yeah very active every month because it's mm -hmm. a monthly thing. Yep. Yeah, but you're going to meet people like that everywhere at different events you go to at sports events. Um, you know, there's a even concerts, at work, even at work, yeah. even at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like God the knows. Car I met wash. Some, yeah. God, God knows I met some weird people over there. Yeah. The Starbucks. Like, yes. Yeah. There's some, there's some characters at Starbucks, but yeah. we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, at Walmart too. Yeah. You know. Oh, let's not start with Walmart. Know, Walmart has the most interesting characters. Yeah. You ever go to Walmart at 10 PM? <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't I haven't been it. to Walmart in like five years i go to i'm a target guy now shout out to my wife oh yeah target yeah <laughs> <sighs> target 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 and whole foods and trader joe's Trader Joe's. but yeah uh you do have to uh you're gonna meet a lot of interesting people a lot of good characters a lot of mediocre characters too yeah just don't take it personal no yeah really don't, you gotta don't take on. it personal like you're gonna like and yeah. when you do move on you're gonna create a lot of good stuff you're gonna and yeah yeah pretty much you're gonna create a lot of really good stuff out there never let somebody steal your passion or your shine just because they don't they don't like mess with you or or f with you or anything like that you are in control of your own creativity don't let somebody have that power to make you want to just stop doing this so you have a bad experience at a portrait meet or a street meet don't let that stop you keep going out keep keep shooting just keep doing it because at the end of the day it's all you have is yourself so just let that creativity flow no matter what anybody else says about you exactly what he said like i i'm like i'm crying right now just uh, listening to this always man I but what you. he said, it's it's true. It's true. Yep. That was a nice sniffle. <laughs> I heard them. Yeah, that was real. <laughs> I was like, that was actually good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the Flonase took any. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was a good sniffle. <laughs> um, I, there's, I know something that um, is, uh, sometimes we'll get people very emotional. Um. Or like even just overthinking about this or even overthinking about this. Mm -hmm. um, if you really want to grow, and again, this is your choice. If you really want to grow, you could put yourself out there. But when I say that, I mean like your face and your personality. 
Yeah. Don't be robotic. Don't be robotic. Yeah. I'm, okay, Never. I'm not robotic in the way I talk or the way I type. No, you're not. However, robotic. if you look at my profile, I am very faceless. However, you do see me, but just not the whole, like my entire you know being you don't see the guy that's sitting right next to me right now yeah, yeah. like you'll see me sometimes in like the uh any reels we make on the podcast page yep um but like you'll see my body you'll see like maybe like but you won't see my face that's just me that's just how i roll now will people see my face sometimes of course they'll see it yeah they'll hear my voice too because i'm actually going to start doing that too but you're hearing it now yeah exactly <laughs> but yeah but eventually you'll the people will see it just very minimally because that's just how i roll that's just how i I, I do it. This is like, I prefer that. Much now, respect. Emerson, on the other hand, he's the very opposite. Now, yeah. we meet pros and cons is um, pro. I feel like if you're like a bit, if you're like ambiverted like me, like like the introvert part of you, I think you'll be fine because like, it'll just be more peaceful. Like I find it more peaceful now because I don't want to show my face all the time because honestly, for one thing, I'm not the biggest fan of my face. Second, I just don't like at the first it was only because of the amount of enemies I had, but yeah. I just feel like it's just not, I just don't want to put myself out there that much. I will with content. I will with like my, my voice and I guess mm -hmm. behind the scenes reels, Yeah, but that's about it. But, uh, but the con of that is um, unless you explain yourself, you're not, you're going to have some people who are, like they're not going to trust you off the bat. You're going to have to, like I said before, rebuild a rapport, show that you're a, like not the type of per like you're show like you're a friendly person Yeah. because that, or show who you are. Mm -hmm. Um, Like it's a lot more work, but that's probably one of the few cons that I have, but that's about it, you know? And then people will see me like engage with like um, the faux bros page or um, even my stories and all that with like different stuff. And then they see me, like if I do, like one of those, uh, you know, like post a photo of you from back then, or any, oh, one of those little templates. Yeah, it's thing it, that are on yeah, the stories. Yeah, yeah. So if you do one of those, if you actually put a photo of yourself from a while back, or repost uh, people's stuff while saying a very hyped comment, or yeah, or even relating with people, like mm -hmm. like if you see like a post <laughs> where it's like, yeah, this um, you know, my family grew up like this or something like yeah. that, and you repost something like that, like yeah, the same, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But th that's showing you're a person, you know. But that's just me. It's just me putting more work in. Now, Emerson, yeah. on the other hand, is a little more engaging. People know his face. People know his voice. People yeah. know his inner thoughts. When it comes to that, um, I just... Um, oh, man, this gets me a little emotional. But um, just like I want people to work with me and also see me as a human as well. I want people to have that connection with me before they work with me because I have had bipolar disorder my whole life. Um, and without this disorder, I would not be the photographer that I am today. Um, if I've had a, I've had a rough life. Um, it's not been easy, um, but I get out here and I take these photos and it helps me out. It gives me something to live for. And so I want people to know how passionate I am about it. I want people to know that this is me and I put my all into this. Um, I don't, I don't want to work with people that are ignorant when it comes to mental health. I don't want anybody. I don't want to work with people that are just like terrible people. That's why I'm very open about my mental health. I'm out here inspiring people to accept who they are as a person because I'm 31 years old and I'm finally accepting who I am. Um, I always thought I was just like, it was just like, I was just cursed or like stuff like that. But like, that's why I'm very open. I show my face. I show my personality because all of this transfers to the work that people see on my page. It's a part of me. So in order for you to understand my work, you have to understand me and know the true me. Yeah. Like, one of those yeah, very, like, like, one of like lately I've been acting like I'm all happy go lucky. I'm struggling right now. I'm, I'm in the dumps, but I'm still out here creating what keeps me going when I'm feeling like this is grabbing my camera, editing, 
like I said, I just want people to know me as a person because my personality, my identity, everything about me is what creates the content that everybody sees on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, everywhere. That's basically it. Yeah. Like there are times when even I got emotional where like I just felt so down in the dumps where I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to, even to this day, I'm like not engaging with a lot of people only because it's, it's my personal choice. But let's just say um, I just don't, I just want to keep to myself right now. Eventually you'll see me post a lot more. Yeah. You know, but I have a lot of you you guys will see I have a lot of content for days now, but cuz I've been, I've still been doing shoots. I just been, but I also kept that minimal. You know, but I've been doing a lot of that. But it's but yeah, my the work is immense, but I will not post that yet. You guys will see it months from now. You got to do what's best for you at the yeah, end of the day, bro. Honestly. At the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Although I will say it uh, it does when I said before that communication is key, there are times where I feel like I don't even know if this is because of the how I am mentally, mm-hmm. but there are times where if I feel overwhelmed, if I do get messages where I just don't know if I should engage with them or especially if it's well, messages that are like that paragraphs, especially now. I wait days sometimes yeah. to answer it because I feel like for one thing I have to process exactly what's like what the conversation's about exactly other times it's more like i gotta process it but also gotta know what to say and make sure it's not something that may come off as something negative yeah yeah definitely and everyone will go through that yeah yeah it's it's it sucks sometimes because if, if i mean if you're doing a business it's one thing too but if you do if you're also doing it a hobby like you have to communicate well but the thing is sometimes it's just it's so hard yeah, it's oh my gosh. Yep. Life. Life. But yeah, but I know both of us have to go wipe our eyes with some tissues because we've been crying a lot. Yeah. So I'm not ashamed to say it either. Yeah, yeah, for it sure. Is what it is. Yeah. Because yeah. this is us being ourselves, right? Authentic selves, really. Yeah. So if you yeah. want to cry on live, cry, man. Like <laughs> but <I can't> with <laughs> you. Yeah. If you wanna if you cry and snot it all out, it's being human. Yep. Yeah. It's all right to feel feelings. You got to let it out. Don't yeah. bottle it up. I will admit, though, some is hard because people will not talk about it sometimes. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. that's where we're going to leave it. And so, yeah, um, uh, we're we're going to come back because we're not going away anytime soon. No you one's going to get rid of us. To... Yeah, you can't. The folk bros are here to stay. Yeah. 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 We may sing a song at some point makes a song oh yeah. god where is it <laughs> but i don't know but we'll see uh yeah so we're uh yeah so this is it this is episode 14 peace out y'all see y'all next episode see ya thank you for listening to the Fote bros podcast feel free to follow us on instagram at Fote bros podcast and follow us on x slash twitter at Fote bros <laughs>